Hey Bart, thank you for submitting your dashboard for review. Overall, I have to say I am really like this dashboard. I think it shows quite a lot of eye for detail, quite a lot of passion, and I also know just by seeing this that you play with a lot of features. For example, uh, it's very nice that you added the logo here. I really like it how the tooltips have uh, different color in the parts that matter. I also like how the elements here are consistent. Like I noticed the black border around here, your tree map, your uh, percentage chart. Also right here, I see like the dark border, same colors for encoding wins and losses. The legends so strategically placed, some stuff is floating, some stuff is not. You created this reset filter. Overall, I see a lot of very positive things. Also, the fact that this wasn't necessarily an easy data to, to extract. Now, some feedback that uh, might be interesting for you. The first thing is right here. I noticed you created these formulas called game results. And essentially, you just have an if else statement for all sorts of different terminations and what they mean. So they they look like this of course the terminations are different because well they they contain the name of the person now what i would recommend you is to uh where is it where is it yes your formula here let me duplicate it so you created the system in which you see like lost one lost of course one is probably not that many rows because only one of you and a lot of people. But um, what I think would make this calculation a bit more efficient is to work with something like contains, termination, and then the words Bart, B, E, one, and then maybe a space just to be sure. Then one, else if, uh, well, I can, honestly, I can just copy and paste this whole thing from you. That's okay. And then else, lost, and then end. Now I can just simply erase this thing. What I wanted to tell you is that I think it's a bit more efficient when you, oh no. I raise something important. When you learn how to work with the following calculations with contains, so it looks if a substring is contained in the string, so if a part of the text is contained, but you also have things like starts with, so if a text starts with something or ends with. There are much more precise ways of doing this, for example, with regular expressions, but I think for this case, it will be an overkill. Now, I think with these contains and with some rules, you might be able to do this a bit more efficiently. Now, let me just test quickly if our formulas are the same. And I can just do that by saying game result is equal to game result copy. I drag this to the color and now I see, okay, since it's always true, it means our formulas are the same. So that's tip number one that I wanted to give you. Now, tip number two is about the KPIs. Really nice that you include them. I personally prefer when they're either on top. Uh, I think it's going to mess up with the layout because of the containers, but either here on top or uh, to the side. And then I guess for the side, it should be different orientation. For this case, I might prefer them on top. So that's that's that. The other thing is I sometimes prefer to take measure names, drag them into text, uh, hide. Well, let me first see. This one is Tableau Book 10, second most great, and then hide these ones. Uh, show header, no. Then I can just take the measure names and I know that it was Tableau book 
10 and it's the second most. It's just a possibility. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the best way of doing it. It's just they keep some proximity with each other. It might be nice. Nah. Sometimes I don't even put a title into my KPIs or some other statistics, but I get it that you did it to keep it consistent and I truly appreciate that. So maybe food for thought. I don't think the way you did it is necessarily wrong, but just some possibilities that you can do. Now, another thing that I noticed is the line here. Uh, looks really good. I like the color. I also like that you selected this step option. Some things is I might consider working with a moving average so that it looks a bit smoother. I'm going to send you a link on how to do that exactly. I might also consider making it a bit thinner, see if that helps. It doesn't always help, but in this case, I think it helps a little bit. Like going from a, from like a very messy, you lose some of the detail here. But if you make it a bit more thin, it's, it's still tricky. Maybe a moving average might be nicer. The other thing is, this axis seems to me a little bit too big. I think the months are bigger than the numbers. And, uh, well, you clearly know that you can right click and the format the actual axis because I know you did it. I might consider just making these ones a bit more transparent or actually do the opposite, which is taking these labels, click here on labels, uh, while why not making them a bit bigger. Up to you, the point is, it was a bit more prominent, this whole, um, well, this whole uh, April and stuff. Now the numbers look a little bit more salient. And probably the last tip, so that we don't make this forever, is here the filters. I I noticed you left them um, more or less how they are supposed to, well, how they come out of the box. So what I would recommend you maybe is, well, a lot of things. So for example, for this one, I would consider a single value list. Maybe you already tried it and you decided not to go for it. That's also fine. Uh, I would also consider just bringing these ones to the center if you prefer. I also noticed that you're adding borders to a lot of elements. So maybe, I don't know if this is correct, but maybe you can right click, format, filter and set controls and maybe also add a border to them. Uh, same here. Add a border. I don't know if it makes it look necessarily better, maybe more in, in theme or not. And the final tip is, I know what you did that these filter boxes. My only comment is, I would have not saved this as a calculation. Just because it's a bit confusing to save things that are technically business logic, like uh, the results. Let me just delete my the one that I created. Yeah. Saving things like results, which is technically business logic, and combine them with things that are there to modify visual elements. I generally prefer to for these ones, and let me do it in another sheet. Just type them in here, something like, uh, yeah, reset filters, drag these to labels, maybe make it bigger, uh, oops entire view and then this one to the center maybe make it bigger bolder whatever it is that you want and you can even modify the tooltip here like uh this is what clicking here does face that's also possible but now because i just actually typed it in here then it's much better because I don't have to save it. So it's a matter of judgment. I'm not saying that it's necessarily wrong, but it might be a bit more elegant to only save these, these things for business logic and things that you really need. So overall, um, great, great dashboard. Happy to check more of them in the future, see your progress, but 
this one is great. And I hope you can take some of these steps and make the next ones even better.